Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Fallout 4. So last episode, we made it into Vault- Ooh, shit. And I'm over and covered in it, aren't I? Made it into Vault 114 and rescued the synth Valentine here. And I am hey. over encumbered as shit right now. So let's have a dog here carry some shit around for me. Now, is there a limit to how much shit dog can carry? Heavy double blur shotgun. Let's have him take all my guns. Store, store, store. I like that one. That one, take that one. Alright, that should do the trick. There we go, we're good. Uh, I think you're supposed to lead, bud. Hey, Valentine. Help me get out of here. Yeah, I'm supposed to be following you, asshole. There you go. Alright, let's continue on. This pistol's actually been doing me really well. Boom, boom. Got him. Oh! Execute critical. I'm not really sure if I'm liking this execute critical thing. It doesn't seem to make a terribly large amount of sense to me. I, 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 criticals should just, should just crit. I, I don't know why I have to activate it. Alrighty, there we go. No way I could pick this. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. So he's a fatty Malone. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Ooh. Oh, there's a couple of them in here. Let's take a whole box of them. I think it would be really apt if he, if, seriously, if Valentine just, like, punched it with his robot fist and, and Fonzied to get at the door. Hey. All right, we're outside now. I didn't realize that was the exit so quickly. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death. You're not that fat. Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Encourage violence, convince her to leave. Mm. I miss the, oh, the old conversation options, having like six or eight of them. I guess you're stuck with fewer when you actually have a voiced character. What's the deal with you people and Nick, anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone, mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. Your Nick, Darla's the problem, and peacefully... Look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. I've had uh -oh. enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. Right? Jesus Christ. That escalated. Alright, hang on, looks like we gotta go through this again. Oh, I have to wait through all this conversation? 
Can I just... Yup. Yeah, that'll work. Wow, nothing. I'm gonna take Darla out. It was gonna come down to that anyway. Run, 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 run. Let the synth take care of it. Jesus, you know, like, point blank range, like, three submachine guns. Uh, aid. Blood pack. Why was there a flamethrower over there? What, was, what the fuck is that all about? I'm never gonna hit somebody at that range with a shotgun. Uh, this one. There we go. Much better. Is that him over there? I can't really see. Oh, I killed him. Oh, there's Skinny. Oh, that's a crit. Yeah. Don't shoot me. Sorry. Sorry. Don't shoot me. God, I run through health really quick. Run through health real fast. I think my armor is really lacking. Where, where is Fatty Magoo? I guess he's dead. All right. Um. Wait. So, can we crit this now? And crit, we crit his leg. Oh, there we go. That was the crit on the leg. Those have got to be worth something. Quinn dress. Skinny, here we go. I already have a tuxedo. Ooh, formal hat. I like that, though. Oh, well. Well, at least the case is closed. Well, she was kind of a bitch, so. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Show me the way, friend. I kind of like his coat. I want that. I kind of wish I could put on the tuxedo and the hat and then put on armor over it, but I don't actually think it'll let me. Alright, here we go. There we go. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Ah, oh, I always have my ways. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Yeah, you should. Now, you mentioned something about tracking down a murderer. How he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll follow you. We're wasting time. Meet you there. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. All right. Unlikely Valentine. Not enough for a uh, level up, though. What's with the glow here? Oh, we got some shrooms, I think. All right, so do I have any other cool weapons or cool missions or what? what's up? All right, let's see. Miscellaneous, explore the combat zone. 
Cambridge Police Station. Build and activate recruitment radio beacon. Go to Piper's office. Oh, Piper. Freedom Trail. I kind of like this idea. Which would be where? Let's see, map. Um, proceed to Cambridge. Okay, so we can go to Beantown Brewery. I gotta be careful here. I'm pretty sure Beantown Brewery was where the the super mutants were. With the rocket launchers. Alright, so let's be careful here. The Beantown Brewery, I'm pretty sure, is bad news bears for me. So let's just... Is this... Yeah, this is where we were heading. Right over this way. Alright, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad I did a little bit more of the story... I haven't actually gone to Diamond City and, and thoroughly explored it off-screen like I was said I was going to yet. Just haven't had time. But, uh, let's holster this and head on in. I was thinking about grabbing Codsworth and bringing him around with me, just because I like the idea of him as my combat buddy. Well, definitely sounds like something's going down. Something's got to be going down. Full victory! Assist the soldiers. Go. Good. Fuck. God, these guys are ridiculously strong. The ghouls are a much bigger danger than they ever were before. Oh, dog got that one. Man, they are just coming out of the woodwork, aren't they? Okay, why wasn't it letting me fire there? They got a leg. There you go. Well, look how fast they are. Oh yeah, it's definitely a problem with registering clicks. I don't know what the problem is, though. Critical. Well, not a critical, but, you know. God damn it. Ah, I hate fighting these guys. Where's my guanana stick? Maybe it's my mouse. Although, I don't think it was my mouse. Oh, there's fucking two of them here. There we go. There we go. Woo! Commonwealth citizen. Man, I am much more scared of ghouls now than I ever was before. Than I was ever afraid of them in other Fallout games. They are so much more intense than they were before. All right, let's let's perk up. Now we've got Scrapper. Uh, local leader level 2 was definitely something I needed, or wanted, but it requires level 14, so no good there. So, let's see. Can't do that one yet. I can do sneak. We have awareness. Hmm. Thinking about, I like that. So, let's confirm that. Two points into that now. Loot these guys. Bottle caps. Paladin Dane. Military grade duct tape. Oh, that was definitely a couple. Couple couple ghouls. They are fast motherfuckers. They are fast as can be. Corpses are just piled up here. Scribe, night rays. Alright, let's talk to uh, Paladin Deans here. Hi. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Sanctuary Hills, on the other side of Concord. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. 
There isn't much over there for us to collect. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Where are you really? You're doomed on me. That all depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, not opportunistic mercenaries. Oh well. I have no I failed like every single one of those. Services. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation. He first. does? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too so weak to reach the them. signal? Sir, if I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something yep. that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to let When you say we, do you mean me? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. I was wait, does he, does he actually mean we? Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, that was a lot of experience. It's like I'd stopped at 372 or something like that. I think it was probably close enough to closing in on four or 500. Like half of a... Uh, not 372 is exactly where it stopped, actually. So resupplies. There's got to be some stuff around. Let's see what we got. Uh, expert safe. I got. I really wish I could get into those. Oh, subway token. Awesome. Ooh, sunglasses. Scar box. So you gonna patch me up or what? I don't know. The prognosis looks pretty grim. It might be more human. Nah, all this stuff is completely wrecked. <laughs> They're all hard. Just quit squirming. Completely wrecked. Ooh, looks like there's some stuff in here, though. Rounds. Stakes of some kind. Jet. Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. Military fatigues. Paid advisor. Alright, cool. At least we're looting some good stuff. I like those military fatigues. Light on so you guys can see. Ooh, tape. Duct tape. So, we're gonna resupply. Is this what we're talking about out here? Rounds, stim pack, stim pack. Pipe pistol I can leave. Shotgun shells, fusion cells. Distress pulser? I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Some kind of hot shot? <laughs> I don't know. What does wrong foot mean? Sorry, we got off on the wrong oh. foot. Oh, so now we're supposed to be best buddies. Well, guess what? I'm not interested. How did we in get off on the friends. wrong foot? You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Hired help or not, I got the job done. Got some backbone. Good. You'll need it if you keep hanging with us. Now, why, why is this guy so pissy? Off? And see if Top needs you to do anything else. How did we get off on the wrong foot? Did I miss something? How do I get back here? Oh. Uh, I must say, there's got to be uh, pre war money. There's got to be something else cool down here. Some caps. Alright, I think that. And I, I'm a, it wasn't exactly much to resupply with. Maybe there's some stuff in here. Sorry about the other guys. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I uh 
I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. They used to be like you. Wandering alone. So I know what it feels like when every single person you bump into sticks a gun in your face. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. I'm a little confused. It seems like there's this backstory that I'm supposed to be aware of for these guys. Like there's nothing to do. Paladin Dance is waiting for you. Take that and listen to it later. Paladin. You ready to move out? This building's ready. outstanding. Follow me enough. and try not to lag behind. Oh, shut your face. We won't last long enough to worry about it. <laughs> That's such a cool helmet. Where are we going now? Arc Jet is a short hike to the west. If okay. we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Okay. I, I, I guess Cambridge is infested with feral ghouls. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen is taking some disturbing energy readings in the area. What happened here? It must have been feral. Damn it. Picked up too much stuff. Now I'm. I, I wish it, w it wouldn't, you know, you know, have those conversations while I was trying to do stuff. But maybe. Sit Dog, get over here. Take all of my. No, come. Stay. Wait there. Uh, trade. Take all of my heavy stuff, please. Well, you wait. Spiked armor. Uh, chest piece. I don't know what that is. More outfit. There we go. Save me 30 something. 30 something pounds. Well, let's continue on. I missed that all. I, I was trying to loot. I missed all that conversation. Like, they say this guy, like, comes off as, like, a bad guy, and I was like, he came off perfectly fine to me. Like, I didn't seem to have any trouble with him. Ooh. Ooh. 200-year-old piece of pie. Aww. I'll say I wanted that pie. I keep getting distracted. I'm like, eh, let's just loot everything as we go. My loot whoring is becoming... Ooh. This looks like a caravan. Oh, fuck. Raider scum. Surprised I can hit him from that distance. Oof. This gun is fucking awesome. This is my favorite by far. Like, he's having this conversation while I'm absolutely nowhere near him or paying any attention to what's going on. What I'm gonna do, hang on. Uh, settings, audio, maybe I can... Voice? Turn that up a little bit. Yeah, let's turn that up a little bit. Maybe, maybe then I can hear him a little better. That's a little better for me. I wish it wouldn't. He, like, if he was gonna have a conversation, I wish it was while we're standing here doing nothing, rather than while I'm, you know, either in combat or in the looting. Oh, 
Whoa! No prisoners. Why would we take a bloat fly prisoner? Boom! Got him. Oh, he exploded it. it, it. This is definitely my favorite gun, and I really want to, like, mob the shit out of it. Yeah, what, do, what if I just go ahead of you? Because you're kind of slow, bud. Boom. Why did I take the coffee cup as well? Ow! Oh, pretty puppy. Oh, not anymore. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh he's gone. And let's do... Uh, crit. Oh, he's dead. Well, mongrel dog meat. I can, I can cook it up and eat it. I have 500 rounds for this thing. Like, you can't craft ammo, which I think is weak. I, I, that's another thing. It's like, why is it not in the game anymore? Why can't I craft ammo anymore? But it loots at such ridiculous quantities, I feel. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been playing that long, and I got 545 millimeter rounds. Jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea to me. Anything worth dirty water school bits. Feel like I should. What was that? Was that an explosion? Also, let's check out this thingy. I'm, I'm sure it's just a monument of some kind. Ooh, cap stash. Yep, there we go. All right, I'm stuck. There we go. I don't know why, but I felt like there would be something over there, and I was right. Right up through the front door, I guess. Is it called Arc Jet Systems? Here we go! Okay, well, it looks like they got what they had coming to them. It's like, I mean, everything's pretty, Look whoa. Wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Ugh. Yeah, that is a pile of robot corpses if I've ever seen one. Security terminal, let's see. What do we got? Security concerns. Team together and implement a new security strategy for the Archjack Complex as the first contract for the USSA. And I don't intend to have any security slip ups while we're working with the XMB booster engine. I need to double, double the coverage 24 hours a day, install automated countermeasures inside the facility. I'd also like you to hire a consultant to figure out better security password system for our terminals. The automated reset timer mailing our password is ridiculous. Oh! Snore that. That was me smacking my microphone. Turrets. Damn it. I wanted to read the turret one first. The distribute identification bandages to all employees is better to be worn at all times. They're infused with a low yield radioactive isotope. We'll prevent our internal security turrets from accidentally shooting any of our own employees. If anyone is caught near the entrance to the big engine core. Big engine core? Where'd I get big? Uh, without a badge, you would not be liable for injuries. Alright, so. If I can find one of those, they won't attack me. What the hell is going on out there? How did a member of the press get all the way past security through the entire research facility into the engine core without tripping our alarms and turrets? We have a real mess on our hands. It's going to be your job to clean it up. If you don't care how you do it, just make it all go away. Let's come back to Vice. I swear you couldn't be the one that takes the fall. 
error. Activate units. Choose personality mode. Subway steward, law enforcement, aggregator, medical responder, construction worker. Personality. So, personality program. Well, let's see what. Activate units. Please invite him from staying here. Let's see what happened. Did, were there any still alive? No. All right, so let's talk to this guy. Paladin dance. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated. Yeah, you already said that. Already been dealt with. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. So there's bad, there's evil synths in here? Kind of like that idea. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, we'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. I don't know why I just took that. What do you see in here that's worth fucking taking, dude? Oh, this is the dead end he was talking about. Uh, I bet I have to go working on that terminal right over here. All right, but we're about 30 minutes in, so we're going to end this episode right here. If you have enjoyed this, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Fallout 4, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.